Welcome and hello for our interactive poster session and our short video presentation uh, for the setup of a corona camera and image co-registration and calibration. Noah Kunz is the main author. The co-authors are Gerhard Kemper, I'm also your presenter today, and Peter Bochmann. We'll give a short introduction about uh, monitoring power lines and uh, ultraviolet band inspection, the task, past and future concepts, sensor system, challenges, calibration and results. Why is discharge, discharge detection important and why it's used in aerial inspections? Corona discharges are invisible for humans, but they of course uh, have a significant energy loss in the power line transmission. And the corona discharges indicate errors in insulators, clamp or other infrastructures on the power line. On this image on the right hand side you can see some corona discharges on a corona ring and an insulator. So there are some defects and corrosion that causes this uh, discharges. Thousands of kilometers of power lines need to be monitored in regular intervals annually or every few years and in Germany already the high voltage power lines are more than 22,000 kilometers. Ground-based inspections are very time consuming, expensive and in some cases also dangerous in mountainous areas and very slow and therefore the process has to be done in an optimized and efficient and fast and reliable way. The task is to develop a sensor system which is lightweight, powerful and the hardware should be very energy efficient that we can use it also on UAVs. And the detection process with modern softwares is another task to use computer vision, auto detection for intelligent storage of the data. It also results in a pre-selection of image data with intelligent software to save only data which show some discharges and the simplest uh, and this simplifies the power line inspection and the supervision of the engineers. Typical systems today are single uh, corona cameras also uh, with RGB cameras handheld um, and typically on in a wider ultraviolet band, not very sensitive uh, against daylight transmission and these handheld cameras are typically not that robust and have typically also no input for GPS position and time and hardly can't be, uh, can be integrated in aerial survey system. So we went another step, so we use a uh, very precise and very sensitive ultraviolet camera which consists on a, of an industrial camera and an amplifier and a ultraviolet sensitive screen and this camera can be amplified and the gain control can uh, make this camera more or less sensitive and we combine it with a other industrial camera for the RGB image and both cameras are PTP uh, capable so we can synchronize the cameras to each other and we can synchronize the camera to a grandmaster clock that itself is connected to GNSS so we have on both cameras a synchronized output with a very precise GPS timestamp. The precise time protocol uh, called PTB. It's uh, I think one of the new developments in industrial camera standards and the image acquisition has timestamps better than 100 nanoseconds and even to release exposure uh, is better than 600 nanoseconds. For this inspection purposes that's uh, far more better than actually needed. Uh, the precise positioning itself gives us a possibility to put finally the data on a GNSS IMU trajectory to allow the localization uh, of the corona discharge to calculate the vector and to display it also on other data 
uh, so we know exactly where on the insulator this uh, failure is. So we have a localization in X, Y, Z and uh, also in the direction. The parallax is, of course, with two cameras which are running parallel um, an effect, especially because we're flying typically very close to the power line, 50 meters or even less, so we have a parallax already about 2.5 pixels. Beside that, of course, the mounting of the camera to each other <coughs> is robust, but even not uh, perfectly in parallel. Here are some examples of some calibration processes, just some image-to-image -image transformation. That's an original image. We have ultraviolet targets. And you can see here between the RGB image and the ultraviolet, there is a certain offset. Using affine transformation already solves it to come closer, but still we have some, some shift in the image. <clears throat> and using uh, perspective transformation makes things better, but still, let's say, not as perfect as we would like to have it, especially when you want to have a real-time overlay and you want to see a discharge um, perfectly localized. So we went another step, so we to calculate the lens and uh, image distortion parameters to have this co-registration, we used it on a, on, a, on a moved target with ultraviolet and RGB uh, detector and so both cameras uh, captured this image and the target was moved on a, on a, on a linear um, acceleration bar so it's moved constantly through the image and by auto detection with the OpenCV the process we got uh, many measurements on on this purpose so the target was moved with a precise controlled linear motion and the images were captured using ptp with a precise equal timings and i will show a short video of the capture process starts here so you can see here the target already nicely overlaid over the image and also with different amplified results of the target. So we came up to a, a calibration curve with measurements, which is a second degree polynomial function on the RGB and the ultraviolet camera. And this one guided to a misalignment measurement. Here you can see the, the pixel shift uh, up to 30 pixels in x and y direction and when we use this polynomial transformation for both um, directions and created lookup table so we finally got a result which is uh, yeah less than four pixels two pixels which is uh, extremely precise for this uh, let's say more or less uh, simple cameras and simple lens configurations and this one helped us for the real-time overlay of this data. The conclusion, so the final corona discharge detection system is very lightweight with a dual camera and it's industry standard, which is very robust, reliable and very precise. And it can be used on manned helicopters or on UAVs. And the data handling and the storage, uh, because we store the images during uh, uh, ultraviolet discharge detection with 50 frames per second and beside that just with one uh, frame per second just for documentation so that is very efficiency and the gps inu integration gives us for each image pair the exact localization where it was captured thank you for visiting our poster session and if you want to contact us via email, we are happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much.